all the time. Mm. And she turned the TV off and finished her cup of coffee and she headed out the door and she went to work. And there was Ben on the breakfast table in his water globe. Ben? I mean, not <laughs> Ben in his water globe? <laughs> that was Octa in his water globe on the kitchen table. All by himself. And he thought, how am I going to get to the ocean to get to my adventure? Hmm, he thought. If I could get out of this water globe, I could get into the sink. And I could slide down the sink drain. And it'll take me down to the street drain. And it'll put me out into the ocean. Yeah! No, that probably wouldn't work, like I thought to himself. There's some garbage disposal in the sink drain. I certainly can't get in there. So he floated around, balling, 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 thinking, what else could he do? Oh, I know, he thought, I'll get in the toilet. And then I'll flush myself. That's literally the same thing as the sink. And it'll flush me down, and it'll, oh wait, it won't flush me out in the ocean. It'll flush me out in the backyard in the septic sewer. Well, hmm, he thought, what, how can I get to the ocean? And he sat around, flopped and flittered, and turned little circles, and made faces at himself in the glass, and thought about what he was going to do, and how this was going to be such a grand day, and then such an adventurous day, and here he was stuck on the table in the water globe. And he got so upset thinking about it, it made him tired. And he fell fast asleep. Take a little nap. But when he woke up, guess what? What? Well, the mailman was there. The FedEx truck showed up and had a package for Ben. And he saw Octai on the kitchen table. Now he knew, oh, he said to himself, oh no, Octai, he won't live very long in there. I better get him to the ocean. He just happened to be friends to Ben's mom. So he got out his handy dandy extra key and he unlocked the kitchen door. And he went in and he picked up Octa's water globe and he said, Hello, Octa! It's me, your old friend, friend. And Octa woke up and he goes, Hey, friend. <laughs> Would you like to go to the ocean? Octa said, yes, I don't have a grand adventure planned for today. And I'm stuck here on the kitchen table. And I got so tired and worked up that I was stuck here that I fell asleep. So Fred snugged him under his elbow and out the door he went. He locked the door behind him and in front of the garage and around the corner, around the back of the house and through the woods and down to the ocean he was. And there it was out through the trees, onto the rocky area, and there was the ocean. Beautiful, sunny, bright day. And he said, well, Octa, it was good to see you again. I hope you have a grand day. And he took the water globe out, and he tossed Octa out into the ocean. Tentacles going everywhere, and Octa flipping head over tail and tail over head and eyeball over beak, and he plop, plop. eyeball <laughs> over beak. Every eyeball is over beak. And he plopped out into the ocean water, floated down. Eyeball over beak. <laughs> Fred set his little water globe down on the rock and headed on back out to finish his mail route to water globe back on the rock and octa floated down and down and he was so happy he finally made it out into the ocean and now for his grand adventure and about that time a big shark came up and ate him oh god <laughs> <man>. <laughs> okay okay that's the second 